Hey everybody, this is Tammy, live with The Woman Project. We are here at Central Falls City Hall, reminding you to vote in the primary, primary September 8th. And our first performer tonight is Rudy Rudacious. The year was 1994. Before my parents became landlords, I remember visiting the house that they now own. It was the second in a row of four abandoned homes. The street was called America, but it looked like the Great Depression, like a ghost town staring its own reflection in the mirror. Each building wore the same outfit of boarded up doors with looted interior of dusty dark rubber. Shattered glass made every window frame a broken tooth smile. The building my parents bought looked hung over, like the result of a party gone wrong, like an alcohol chase argument went too far, like someone took a couple of shots before taking a couple shots. Across the street, caution tape sectioned off a fresh chalk sketch. Someone had their chest burned twice one night. The outline of a dead body labeled this property crime scene. My parents took a city cave and built a home from scratch. A few years passed. America Street became a neighborhood full of black and brown families. As kids, we were all in unison. Our outdoor bonding turned a graveyard into a playground. This concrete jungle of foliage and pollen couldn't stop the games we played. Trees marked start and finish line for foot races. Wild grass broke our fall when wrestling got rough. With a hollowed milk crate nailed to a telephone pole, my brother played basketball with neighbors until the nightfall. My sisters sat front row getting their hair done on the front porch. Now it's been over 20 years and my parents still own this home. But new businesses, clean streets, makes property value increase as financial grips started to slip. Everyone we knew has moved. I miss conversations, roasting sessions, debates from after school till curfew. Today, neighbors are strangers. We only greet each other with one word. I would rather a real estate I saw with a pumping heart than this flatline suburb. Some days, I remember the caution tape from our first visit. I wonder if it was the universe trying to warn us, caution. Land is loyal to conquerors, never its natives, caution. History has ironic ways of repeating itself, caution. This street is named America for a reason. The building visible from our house is a theater called the Columbus. When I look around and see less people that look like me, I ask, is this a coincidence or a metaphor for genocide? Because gentrification will repaint a neighborhood like a bad art book. It stops coloring between the lines. I think of the chalk sketch from our first visit and realize even though murders have stopped on this block, there is still something dying here. Thank you. And here we have singer Jason Quinn. There's no hiding place in the kingdom. 
Christmas throw to people getting ready as a train I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like that river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. I go to the movies and I go downtown. Someone keeps telling me go hang around. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh yes it will. Then I go to my, my brother, I say, brother, help me please, but he winds up knocking me back down, back down on my knees. Oh, there were times when I thought I wouldn't last for long. Now I know I'm able to carry on. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. And now we have. Did you know you can cast your vote here? <laughs> Early vote now. We are here at Central Falls City Hall in beautiful Central Falls, Rhode Island to show you that you can vote here. We're gonna take a little tour in a minute of where actually you can vote, but let's look at the projections. And step back a little so that you can see it even better. Thank you Thank you for coming. We'll step back a little bit. See the building here. Vote to advance racial justice. There's a lot of reasons to vote. That's one way, one reason. I'm walking back down a hill. So if you see it, the thing go crazy for a sec, it's because I fell down the hill. But we're good. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall down the hill. It's a good chance I might. Well, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's always interesting. The different architectures of the buildings. 
this is that central falls there also the front of it i've never been to this building before but it's got a big like sloping sort of hill in the front of it <laughs> so that's what i'm standing on right now but you should vote and one of the reasons why we vote is to ensure economic justice vote to ensure economic justice better if I stand here because it's angled you're good you go our vote is our voice let's use it the primary in Rhode Island is September 8th that's a week from tomorrow figure out a plan for how you're gonna vote if you requested a mail ballot get that back ASAP if it's not already in the mail you might want to just go to <clears throat> your board of canvassers and drop it off or every board of canvassers is located right in the city or town hall now if you wanted to drop off your mail ballot because we're here reminding you that you can actually vote early in person at the board of canvassers if you didn't request a mail ballot you can just go into the city or town hall Monday through Friday 8 30 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. and vote at the Board of Canvassers just cast a ballot right there and vote if you didn't want to go to your polling place every city and town hall all across Rhode Island allows you to vote So if you did request a mail ballot and you live in Central Falls and you didn't send it back yet, no fear. Because guess what? You can drop it off at the Board of Canvassers. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take, take you on a little trip. Let's go on a little trip. I'm going to keep the projections going. They'll be there when we get back. And I'm just going to walk around. We're going to the side. So where we're doing the projections is on the street, but it's um, here. You can see me as we walk. Where we were doing the projections is on the main road, Broad Street in Central Falls. But the front of the building is actually on the side of it. And I just want to show you. So you can come to the City Hall at Central Falls. <clears throat> you can park, you know, on the street if you want there's also a parking lot here right behind see there's a parking lot right behind the, the city hall and actually and if you go into the parking lot it's a really small parking lot but if you go into the parking lot there's actually a drop box right here so if you have a mail ballot and you live in central falls you can just drive by and just drop it right in. It's right sitting right here. Now, if you didn't request a mail ballot, you can actually just come park in the lot or park on the street and then just walk up or wheel up the ramp. You can see they have the six foot markers on the, gr on the ground. You just go up the ramp. This is right on the side of the building. <clears throat> and then this is, you go in here. That's the door. You just go in there, find the board of canvassers. If you get confused, just ask somebody. Say, I would like to vote. And they will let you go vote. So now we're going to go back around. As you can see, we got a little crew here <clears throat> keeping us going can't do this alone we definitely need volunteers to help us out and we got live streams going we got pictures of course we have the projections vote oops to ensure economic justice
Our vote is our voice. This is one of the primary ways that we can get change in our society is to vote. <clears throat> Many races in Rhode Island are actually decided by the primary, not the general election, because there's so many um, Democrats that run against each other. By the time you get to the general election, it's not always competitive. Sometimes it is, but not always. So a lot of state legislature in Cranston, we've got a mayor, mayoral primary. There's also a primary if you're in dis Congressional District 2. For um, There's a primary there as well. <clears throat> So, but you can go to vote.ri.gov. And if you're not sure if there's a primary in your area, just look for your ballot. And you can find out who's on the ballot. And then, you know, look them up and see what they stand for. And figure out who you want to vote for and then get a plan. So there's three ways to vote this year, both in the primary and the general. You can either vote um, by mail ballot so if you already requested a mail ballot, you should have hopefully gotten it by now. Um, and you can actually drop it in the mail, just ASAP, like within the next day, if you didn't already mail it. Or um, you can go to the board of canvassers and drop it off. And many boards of canvassers, if not all of them, do have a drop box like I showed you to drop it. If you didn't request a mail ballot, no worries, you can come to the Board of Canvassers and vote in person anytime between now, like the, like, like the slide says, between now and Election Day, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., you can vote right at the Board of Canvassers. You can just go in and say, I'd like to vote, and they let you vote. Or, if that schedule doesn't work for you, no problem. You can vote the traditional way right at your polling place on election day on Tuesday, September 8th. Because your vote is your voice. Make that voice heard and start with the primary because I keep saying this, but primary elections don't have a lot of turnout, especially in off years. Although this is a presidential year, but they don't have a lot of turnout usually. So your vote like almost counts more because there's less votes total. <clears throat> there's always a lot of, well, not a lot, but a few elections that are decided by just a few dozen votes sometimes. And that you know, that could be your election. So let's make sure you make your voice heard and you go vote. We want to vote to secure reproductive justice. As always, we secured the Reproductive Privacy Act with all of your help and everybody working together in 2019, but we got to keep that in place. We got to make sure our representatives and senators in the state legislature know that we want to keep that in place and we want to elect people who are going to keep that in place. That's what, that's what we say at Women Project, but you can just vote based on your values. Let's vote to ensure economic justice. Well, the economic inequities in our society have been amplified by the pandemic. Let's, let's help take care of that a little bit. Budgets are going to be so strained next, next year. We don't want the people who are struggling the most to be hurt the most by the budget constraints. So elect people who are not gonna do that. <laughs> elect people who care about that. Because our vote is our voice. Vote in the primary. The primary is September 8th. Again, you can vote early in person right here at the Board of Canvassers if you live in Central Falls. This is Central Falls City Hall. And guess what? Starting in about three minutes or so, 
we're gonna have a whole other slate of projections with different performers in another city in Rhode Island. So tune in for that. As soon as this uh, live stream stops, you're gonna see another one pop right up. Because the elections are important all across Rhode Island. As we see, we have the flag there. It's not waving because it's not breezy. But we're right in front of, we're right in front of the, uh, the city hall here in Central Falls. Like I say, I'm on the edge of a hill. So if you see the stream go all wonky for a second, it's because I fell down the hill, but I'm fine. <laughs> trying to keep by an eye on where I'm standing. Cast your primary vote here. Right here. If you live in Central Falls. If you live in a different city, then cast it in your city. In your um, city hall. Lanza tu voto en las primaria aquí. Apologize for my uh, accent there. I haven't really spoken Spanish uh, since uh, high school. <laughs> All right, I'm in a weird angle, but that's okay. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. I'm going to wrap up these projections again. Vote early in person here or at your local board of canvassers. Or you can vote on election day at your polling place. Or if you have a mail ballot, please do get that back as soon as possible. You can drop it off right at your board of canvassers. Because, again, your vote is your voice. This is Tammy, Susie, Miguel, Mary, Jason, Rudy, all from The Woman Project. And we are signing off. But tune in. There'll be another projection starting up right away. Bye.